Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Welcome back. Oh, boy, wait. What? What? I didn't hear what he said. Well, we'll hear when we rewatch this video after I've edited it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> So, look at the giant dinosaur. Look at that big ass dinosaur. Stone dinosaur. Oh my god. That's hot flame balls. Don't you think that's a little bit too dramatic? Can you give me something with a bit more of a beat? <laughs> oh, I love you, Elliot. Oh, I love me, Elliot. I love when we're on the same page. Anyways, I love when I'm on this show. So, um, two things. That I love. I, I love when you're on the show too. That's part of why I love Royal Goops because I love you and I love myself too. Uh, good. Um. So. Oh yeah. So two things I wanted to talk about. Um. Number one. Yeah. Fuck you, twat. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um we were we were talking about this but it got cut off because the episode ended. So did you find yourself getting stuck at all in this chapter and any of no, the next chapters? Because I watched someone play the whole game before I had Oh it. I watched someone okay. beat it a couple years ago. Yeah, because when I freaking played Conquer Live and Reloaded for the first time. Uh okay. Uh wrong Looks door. like you're getting stuck. <laughs> got you. I like when I first played Conquer Live and Reloaded, this was the first chapter that I found myself really getting stuck on, and like, yeah. it it happens sometimes in games. It's like, what do I do? Totally. I ended up, no joke. I spent like I was staying up late when I was playing it that night. Yeah. When I was like twelve or thirteen or whatever, and I, I kid you not, once I got to a certain point, mm -hmm. I, um, after I get the baby dinosaur and kill it, yeah, I ended up so confused i ended up walking all the way back to the hub world what? <laughs> with, yeah Wait, can you even do that yeah you can go back how you just go back where oh, you climb up that thing and then jump up wow yep and i was just Damn. so confused i was like what do i do and for some reason i just did not i don't know maybe it was my overly inflated ego telling me not to look up a walkthrough but i huh. just i was i spent like two hours running around and then i finally figured it out on my own Damn. That you had to jump inside the stone dinosaur's nose yeah. and shake the pepper. Damn. God, so far. If I could go back in time, I'd be like, dipshit, look. Whatever. In the nose. Fucked hard. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, it, I can definitely see how it'd be confusing. I only knew because... Uh, You'd already seen I'd it. I'd already seen it. Yeah, but this and then the rock-solid rave that we go to in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I got it. That part was really hard. on the bitches. Yeah, that part, especially on the Xbox version, it's easier because the controls are better. Yep. Here, like, so bad. you don't know that you have to hold down the freaking trigger to pee further. Yeah. I mean, I mean... Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, and so... Stupid. Th there are... I can definitely see why some people would prefer Live and Reloaded. Yeah. People who Other are, than the censorship. Like, if you cannot stand these kinds of old games where yeah. the controls don't hold up as well. Oh, the teddies area is fucking hard on this shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, trying to escape the bit. We'll get to that point. Yeah, we will. Oh, look at the dinosaur. Yum, oh, yum, look yum, at how he yum, rips yum, this carcass yum, and yum, 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 digests it in his stomach ass. It's so cute. So cute. He is born with a diaper for some reason. Um, you know, I always thought those diaper pins were weird. It's yeah. like, uh, you have this baby, and you want all this soft shit with them, and like all this stuff, and then you just have this fucking pokey-ass metal thing that if it came undone would just stab your baby. <laughs> stab it in the butt. Yeah, pretty much. Come on, dinosaur, get over here. Come on, dino dildo, let's go eat some bitches! Um, so yeah, like, definitely got stuck a few times when I first played through Conquer, but you know what? Eh, it's... It's nothing I can really critique yeah. the game badly for. But second thing I wanted to talk about, um, unless, Elliot, was there something you had in mind? Eventually, I'd like to go back to that topic I was going to talk about earlier. But if you have, like, I didn't get into it. So if you have something, go ahead. Um, okay, let's put a pin in that. So. <laughs> Got him. So, so guess what I saw a couple weeks ago? Black Panther. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about this on, uh, when we were playing Metroid or Mario Party, but, uh, yeah. I never got to it. What's those games? Um, you know, the games that, but anyways, I, uh, the Nostalgia Critic, he recently did a review for the live action Yogi Bear movie. Oh, there's a live action Yogi Bear movie? Yeah, dude, it came out in 2010 and I never oh, saw okay. it. Okay, wait, I think I knew this. It's, it was like live action and 
Yogi and Boo Boo were CGI. They're animated. Yeah, okay. okay. They're animated in Totes. live action. I I never saw it because I wasn't. I remember. Oh God! What? Excuse me? Ha, get fuck, get fuck, get fuck. Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. Get fuck, get fuck, get fuck. Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. Hi guys. So Yogi Bear. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, he, he he did a funny review for the live action Yogi Bear movie, and so um, <laughs> it was funny. There's a part where he shows Yogi Bear getting stabbed, and he says, "Tell Snagglepuss I love him." <laughs> um. Now, I myself, I enjoyed the review, but I never watched Yogi Bear as a kid. Did you? Uh, I saw it a couple times. Yeah. So not like actively watched like the Rugrats or some shit. Yeah. No, dude. I I I didn't watch it. Um, what if there's a Rugrats spin-off show called The Hood Rats? The Hood Rats. like, fucking <laughs> Tech Nines and, like, full-auto Glocks and shit. And it's like, bitch, this is our goddamn neighborhood. And they, like, shot up all the other children. Oh, I, I don't think this is such a good idea, Tommy. We should Put use the... Put a fucking, uh, uh... Chucky. Red-haired Chucky, bitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna say we should use the five gauge instead of the six gauge. Uh, I don't fucking uh, know. Just so you know, lower gauge is bigger. Oh, oh, it is? Yep. Okay, then. Yep. Elliot yep. knows more about... Okay, anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Yogi Bear. Guns, 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 so, guns, 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 Topics that make people sad. So I recently uh, decided to uh, go back and watch online yeah. some of the classic Yogi Bear cartoons. Yeah. I did that yesterday, as a matter of yeah. fact. And I gotta say, they're they're pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly very good. I didn't... Hey, boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Picnic basket. And uh, so they're, they're really Pick good. Picking my butthole. I, I never watched those Hanna-Barbera cartoons. A lot. Like, I saw Flintstones and Bobo. Tom and Jerry and I stuff. I like, oh, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry's favorite shit. Old, old cartoon. It's like Looney Tunes with Hanna-Barbera. But, uh... I love that shit. I know. It's the best. But, uh, but so, yeah. Uh, it got me to thinking... There are a lot of video game characters that seem very similar to classic cartoon characters. And the first, because I was thinking of Yogi Bear. Yeah. Hey, Diddy, I'm a Donkey Kong. Hey, Where, Diddy. I'm a big, tall animal with I wearing a tie. Milk coming out in strange places. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. What the fuck are you. The things that come out of your mouth. No, just around the corner. Did you never <laughs> have to watch that fucking video? Yeah, no. We, the we, sex ed video? Yeah, dude, we talked about this during okay, Banjo Kazuko. So. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. Um, but yeah, I realized DK and Diddy are kind of like Yogi and Boo Boo, if you think about it. Because, like, DK's they're got the... They're both bears. They got the... They're, they're both, both wearing ties. Picnic baskets. Hey, Diddy, let's go get some bananas in the jungle. But, but Donkey, I'm worried about King K. Rool. Oh, don't worry about it, Diddy. We'll just go jump on that fucker's head, and <laughs> uh, if he tries to throw his crown at us, I will kick him in the ass, you know? And it got me to thinking, like, Conker's kind of like Bugs Bunny. Yeah, baby. You know? They're both kind of sarcastic and yeah, they they get what they they, they always get what they want doing crazy cartoony things. Oh hey, side story, funny tiny, not even that funny story, just <laughs> going key dink. Uh huh. Last session, I was talking about that funny little tidbit on the show about Porky Pig, the son of a bitch, son of a son of a bitch, son of a son of a bitch, son of a dang it, fucking dinosaur, come on! And then Star Scream. Yes. You thought I was going to say bitch, didn't you? And then James saw it later that day. <laughs> I didn't link it to him. He just happened to come across it. Yeah, I know. Like, at, at the day that we recorded that and he said it on the show, I I texted him later saying, Hey, Elliot, look what showed up in my video feed. <laughs> yep. Pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, that was funny. Um, Google is listening. Um... Yeah, baby. Um, but, um, and then, like, I, I wrote down a list, so, uh, let's see, uh, Goofy is a lot like Banjo, or Banjo's a lot like Goofy, to be more specific, because, you know, they're both like, oh, I have a long nose, I'm a tall bear, or in this case, dog, and I'm tall, <laughs> dog. Yeah, Goofy's a dog. He's oh, a dog oh, man. oh, yes. Who are you comparing to Goofy? Uh, Goofy's like Banjo. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, because they're both like, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Eh. No? I could see it a little bit. But... I think they're pretty similar. Um, like they have like the same voice. And uh, who else? Um, no. Fuck. Goofy says English. Um, Banjo says. 
That's that's very astute of you. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm astute. Uh, I, I think Daxter from Jack and Daxter is kind of like Timon from The Lion King because they're both very like sarcastic and they're these little orange or little dudes. Sure. And uh, I mean, I think you can fu- I think you can draw similarities between like fucking anything really. Yeah, sure. But, uh, Just like people look for meaning in uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> what do you mean? Sacrifice the devil, sacrifice the devil. I was supposed to say this and it was supposed to be fast and then he's going to die. This is supposed to be short bit, but now it's too long. Oh, sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. When you want to sacrifice end the him. episode acting like sacrifice a maniac him. and you can't. Sacrifice him. Because your friend starts sacrifice a cutscene and sacrifice you didn't him. see it coming. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. <laughs> Done. Wait, no, the cutscene's not over. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Sacrifice him. Ah, oh, the great Gunos. Sacrifice um, him. Oh yeah, sacrifice an, oh yeah, and another one. Sacrifice so, him. sacrifice him. Let me say this. Mario is a lot like Mickey Mouse. I mean, think about it. Put up a picture of Mario and Mickey on screen. They got the round features. They got the two yellow buttons. And they have high-pitched voices. Oh, hello, Pluto. Oh, it's a me, Mario. Sacrifice. Mario is Mickey Mouse as a human. You dimwit! One of them's a fucking mouse! Yeah, well, you know what? I just. That's why I said. Sacrifice him! Sacrifice him! Sacrifice him! Is the cutscene over yet? Sacrifice him! Sacrifice him! Sacrifice him! Sacrifice him! The most awkward ending ever.